Welcome everyone, this is Master's Joke, also Master's Joke 75 on Instagram. So uh, yeah, I've just I've just got some um, Star Wars retro collection <laughs> updates for you. So if you follow if you follow my um, uh, YouTube channel, or if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know how much <laughs> I absolutely love the retro collection. And I and I as I always say, if I had to choose out of the Black series, the Vintage collection, or the Retro collection, the Retro collection would win. Every every time, and I've I've had you know I've 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 been knocked for that. People have knocked me for, for me loving the retro collection. I don't care. I love it. It's pure nostalgia. I think it. I just think it's it's great. But anyway, so it's it's you know the the book of <laughs> book of Bob Affair is you know we, we were told it was going to be released in the fall. Rec- recommended retail price eleven dollars ninety nine. I imagine. With the last Return of the Jedi uh, wave, which was thirteen ninety nine on Hasbro Pulse, um, I'm a, it's, it, I think that is a bit steep for a retro figure, but I imagine it will be um, the same price for the uh, Book of Boba Fett. But I was um, <laughs> on Instagram. It was actually Chuffy Far who brought it to my attention. But the the wonderful guys are in demand toys. They're the ones who <laughs> I bought my uh, my two retro collection Bounty Hunter two packs from at the Norwich Toy Fair uh, before Christmas last year. Absolutely fantastic! Check out what they've you know. Check out their website. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, Chuffy Fire gave me uh, the heads up, and uh, in demand on Instagram, I've mentioned um, that the uh, Book of Boba Fett figures will be released very soon. And also, Hasbro Pulse have obviously listened. To, I mean, they did mention this before. But they listened to the fans, and these won't be pre-order. So these will be up to purchase for delivery very, very soon. So I'm, <laughs> I'm really, I'm really, really, really excited about this because I, because I love it. I've still, I've still got my, um, I've still got my, my, my Star Wars, you know, with the uh, vac metalized R two D two and C three PO on pre-order with Hasbro Pulse, so hopefully I'll get that soon. And of course, I've got my uh, Return of the Jedi box set on pre-order for the 40th anniversary, Wave 2. So I'm, I'm just well well excited for the uh, retro collection in general. But yeah, so um, watch this space. Definitely, the uh, Book of Boba Fett um, Star Wars retro collection figures are going to be released soon. So, uh, you know, <laughs> watch this Watch this space. I, I absolutely can't wait. And although, and I've mentioned it before, I have taken a step back from um, buying new Star Wars figures like Black Series and also Vintage Collection because they're so, they're so expensive. Um, although I, I couldn't help myself and I bought those Phase 2 Clone Troopers the other week, which are absolutely fantastic. Although mine are missing the little black line on the helmets, but I, I don't I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind at all. So, so yeah, de- definitely, definitely exciting news. Can't wait for it. And then obviously you've got the um, the the pipeline reveal as well at the San Diego Comic Con of <laughs> the Episode One retro collection figures, which 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 were absolutely fantastic. I, I I I can't wait for them either. So it's all good news for the retro collection. I mean, it's 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 a no brainer. I mean, it's what <laughs> it's it's a what. A lot of the older fans love because of the the nostalgia value of these figures, and and if you watch any of my videos, you'll tell how much I love opening these uh, bad boys up, just like it was uh, Christmas nineteen eighty four. But um, in relation to the figures, um, I've 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 got to say that the um, the Mando figure doesn't <laughs> doesn't really look much different than the last Mando release. The figure that I'm really looking forward to is um, is Fennec Shand. I mean, the actual card back image, beautiful. I love Fennec Shand. Definitely want this figure. Boba looks good. The sand, the, the, the Tusken Raider looks amazing. I want a few of them, uh, similar to when I, I got a load of Death Troopers and, and Scout Troopers. Um, the Luke Skywalker doesn't really look any different. He's got his black cloak. He's got his green lightsaber. And... I'm sure people will be moaning about that, 
If you don't like it, don't buy it. I love it because it is very similar to the uh, original release back in the 80s. But what I like about it is it's that link. It's that missing link from the original figures from the 80s to the new retro figures of the <laughs> of 2023. And that's what I like about it. It's, you know, it's pure nostalgia for me. I absolutely love them. I, I wouldn't knock them and I will continue to to buy them. Um, please may they continue. But anyway, just a short video today. Uh, that, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and I'll see you in the next one.